It's the state championships. Judges, cameras, her parents in the stands. Bonnie Lake's Alex Brown will never forget this day. There was this part of me that said, you can still do this, don't give up, you love this sport. The only reason she's even here is because she comes here. Craig Sigal works with Alex. Take your attention to your eyelids and relax those eyes. When Alex was 11 years old, she was doing a flip, froze in midair, landed flat on her back. She didn't want to give up the sport, but she couldn't get it out of her head. I was just like, why even try? Because, like, I didn't think I could do it again. But here she is at the state meet facing her fears head on. Since her crash, anything backwards has given her trouble. When I first met her, uh, she was very fearful. I just saw fear. All she's ever wanted to be is a gymnast. Started when she was seven, doing great until the accident. She practiced flipping into a foam pit over and over and over, but couldn't do it on a mat. I didn't think I'd ever do it again. Are you ever afraid? Not anymore. You don't even need to believe any of this. You just need to follow instructions. You can pretend and fake everything I say and it still works. What does that represent in your life? That I should live life as it comes. Alex admits her friends think it's crazy, but she'll do it the rest of her life. It kind of talks to your body like in a persuasive way and like it just tells your body what to do and you actually do it. Craig says it's about connecting your body to your unconscious mind. It allows them to get control of their thoughts, it allows them to de-stress, uh, just tell the body what you want it to do. Alex knows she's not suddenly perfect. That's not the point. The point is that she even tried. She went forward by going backwards, and she did it in her mind before she did it on the map.